Hi, I'm Armando and I'm looking for love. Hi, my name is Rosie and I'm looking for love. Hi, I'm Pat and I'm looking for love. Hi, I'm Riley Stone and I'm looking for love. Hi, my name is Monica and I'm looking for love. Can you actually say that in Spanish? <laughs> Hola, yo soy Armando y estoy buscando por amor. Hi, I'm Luke Jericho and I'm looking for love. And we are Majestic Love. I can't tell you how I found Majestic Love, but I just did. An intense pull inside me drove me to their website. So Ruby is my best friend. I was with this guy, and I thought it was in a very committed, loving relationship. And suddenly this girl shows up at my door in lingerie. Who are you? What are you doing? There must be the wrong door, and she just leaves. I started to wonder, so I followed her, and I later discovered that she was also dating my boyfriend. And she was kind of the mistress, but she didn't know she was the mistress. And so we kind of spied on the guy, got rid of him, and became good friends. One day, sitting together, we decided that what if our purpose in life was to just help people find love? It kind of gave us an inspiration to start Majestic Love. Majestic Love. I offered to shoot a commercial for them. Just a little promo video. We put a call out, we got a couple couples and they did their magic. They matched them up. So we're here today filming our commercial for our Majestic Love Agency. And we have a whole bunch of people ready to go on dates in that room. Who's that? It's my doggy. Sorry, I got distracted. I'm really excited. Hi there. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. I'm just filming for Whatever, I don't know what they want to use. All right, all right. Who's ready for love? Ooh, yeah, we're ready. Yeah. We're, we're, he's ready for it. We don't know what to expect. <laughs> well, by the way, tell us, so what do you look for in a man? Yeah. Well, I mean, I need him to be strong. I need him to be confident, um, but I need to be me. You know what I'm saying? Because these yeah. guys, they, they, they don't like loud and I'm loud and they don't want you to have opinions and I got opinions. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm, a, I'm a spicy meatball. I need someone that can take the heat. You think you can help me? <laughs> I uh, sure can. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you're very radiant and beautiful, and uh, you have this beautiful, majestic glow to you, and... Uh, oh, she's sweet. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's tough for Rosie to let people in, okay? I've had my heart broken way too many times, so... Yeah, it's not easy for me. It takes time. Someone has to, you know, gain my trust. And sometimes, you know, they don't get past the first date. We'll see. We'll see. Luke Jericho. That was, I mean, we saw him walking down the street and we thought, what an opportunity that is to get a celebrity on our show. Okay, yeah, let's take his shirt off, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, is that okay? Okay. okay. Tell, tell us if you don't feel comfortable. We'll do it, and then we'll see how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I can't even. Who doesn't love Luke Jericho? Like he's handsome, he got his shit together, so we were really excited to meet him. So tell us a little bit more about yourself, Luke. Well, I come from a small town. I'm a contractor by trade, and I'm just here looking for whatever life throws my way. You are so humble. I've never imagined you this way. In oh. person. Um, thank you. Has anyone genuinely ever loved you? I don't think so. Well, that's mm. why we're here. This is amazing. We are gonna find real love for you that you've never ever felt before. Because here at Majestic Love, we make magic happen. I remember a lot of attention kind of being on me for like no reason, and I couldn't quite get why that was going on. He was so humble, and he didn't want to talk about being a famous actor. In fact, he denied it. He didn't know he was famous. He didn't know who he was. And the girls loved him. These people keep kind of looking at me. Yeah. And constantly, like the other, I guess, I don't really want to call us participants, but they keep like looking at me and like asking me questions. Really? As if I'm supposed to know what to do here. Something about filming, I don't know. I don't like understand. what, what is he saying? They keep mentioning some, some, someone in a movie. I think I'm, like I'm some guy from some movie. They say that, I, well, I'm, t I'm telling them that maybe I look like them, but I'm like, I'm obviously not this guy. I'm just, you know, I just do whatever I do. And then they keep like staring at me and like whispering 
I noticed that, that, that something wasn't right, that it wasn't only like this dating site or like this day to find your love. There was something awry. So that's why at the beginning I kind of like stayed in the background and waited till later because I needed to know more. You guys look like you're on a date already in here. Uh, I think he understands my spice. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. He might understand it. Unfortunately, she got taken. She's you're going up with uh, uh, weird guy. Luke, I'm going to be so open and excited about this. I really am. I will have confidence this will go well, but I'm not too sure. Wish you the best. Do you really? <laughs> yes, I do. Hi, my name's Rosie. Luke. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So I take it this is something very new for you. Yeah, a little bit. Did you chose this games thing? You like games? Yeah, I mean, it's a little something to do instead of just blankly staring into each other's eyes the whole time. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's Unusually. good. Smart, I like yeah, that. Yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you. Yeah, really yeah, smart. Yeah. So, I don't know, do you... Um, I mean, we've got the cards here. Not sure what. You could play an easy game of Go Fish. If I was going to dream him up, he would be tall. Definitely has to be tall. Um... Light, not, no, tall, dark, and handsome. It's true, I like the tall, dark, and handsome. What's it like to be famous? I mean, I imagine being famous, I mean, like you always see on the TV and it's like a hassle and they always have people in their faces and stuff like that. I would never want to be famous. What do you mean? I'm asking. Like, don't play games. Like, I'm serious. I would never play games with you. Like, are you okay? Yeah, perfectly fine. What does it feel like being famous? What does it feel like, you know, like shooting your TV show and like going to award shows? Like what that, what, what's that like? Probably great. I was talking to the guy all day and he was like, you know, so aloof and like he didn't know what I was talking about. And, and I was like, he was really weird. And everybody was trying to talk to him and he was like, he, he, he had no idea what we were talking about. Majestic love. Really, really thought you were gonna take your shirt off because this looks like a hot bod. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. I can't you. really resist. Oh. I mean, uh, I'm 100% flattered right now. I don't know if I'm totally comfortable doing this kind of thing. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was saying. I had a puppet in my hand. I was all over him. I, it was. I was stroking him with the puppet. This. This will work. This will work. This will work. <laughs> Good. I, this is very, very straightforward. I, I gotta say, I appreciate it. I'm very straightforward. Yeah, clearly. I really am. Clearly. I'm glad you like straightforward. Most guys don't like it. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Majestic love. Wow, I just love everything that's going on here. This is. You like my hair? Yeah, I love your hair. Really? <gasps> Holy crap. This is like, oh my god, you look good. Lioness with this fucking Greek goddess thing you've got going <gasps> on right now. Wow. Nobody's ever said that about my hair before. Really? I feel like it should be said to you every single day. <sighs> well, I can't focus if you start doing that. Ow! Wow! <laughs> yeah! Oh! Whoa, whoa! No, I don't have any milk limit at all. Wow. Like at all. Okay. Yeah, like I could drink like so much milk. Because I actually keep about three to four cartons of milk in my fridge. That's what oh I'm my... talking about. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. I really like your beard. Oh, really? Yeah, we both do. Oh my god, this is <laughs> the most interesting threesome I've ever... Is this, a, is this what's considered a th threesome? Is that what's... We could get creative. That... Do you think you'd marry me? Yeah, that's pretty bold. That's just not, that's not the way I roll. The man can do the proposing. Can, he can do his thing. So for me to propose to him, you know that there was something that was not right. 